on the working principle which we have achieved at Vaida, Dr. Samjal Bhattacharya, and also we have the new Secretary General. Earlier, the Secretary General uh, was Mr. Sinam Prakash Singh, who is now the advisor, and a new Secretary General is Mr. Mutsi Koyo Yomo from the Nagasans Federation. And we also have another advisor who was the <coughs> Vice Chairman earlier, Mr. Upendra De Barma from the Pre-Process Federation. And we also have a new uh, Aston Secretary General, Mr. Wang Jam Sangtam Toba Mete from the All Money Persons Union. And uh, we also have a new Finance Secretary, Mr. John De Barma, who is the General Secretary of the Pre-Process Federation. And we also have our coordinators, <coughs> Mr. Sankar Jyoti Borwa, who could not be here with us because he has to go back in the morning. Uh, we have from the NSF, Mr. Ijan Thak Umuili, and Mr. Rikeshwar Mairangham, and Mr. Lal Ramanuta Londo, and Mr. Bikash Debarma. So, uh, in this uh, sixth general conference of the World Business Organization, we have taken uh, resolutions on very important issues. <clears throat> that is, the first issue is on the illegal immig immigration, which is affecting the different states of the northeastern region, and it's continuing to affect the demographic structure of the northeastern region, especially here in the state of Tripura, in which the indigenous peoples of Tripura are being reduced to a minority in their own land. <coughs> and the NESO on this issue has uh, taken a resolution that we will take up this issue from time to time and we will explore all possible all possibilities to fight against this menace of illegal infiltration and to take up this issue with the concerned state governments at the state and at the, also at the central level and to work out modalities and structures according to the prevailing situation in this, each state of the northeastern region. And on education, in the different states of the Northeast. We have seen the scenario of the education in the different states of the Northeast, which is in a very bad state. And this general conference, after deliberation at length with regard to the issue of education in the different states of the Northeast, the general conference is of the opinion that the present system is predominantly of the formal form of education. Even though we recognize the importance of the formal form of education, we re-examination of the whole process of NRC of Assam. To implement all provisions of the Assam Accord 1985 and for the implementation of the recommendation of the Committee on Plus 6 of the Assam Accord for Constitutional Safeguard. We also demand, we have been demanding the repeal of the impunitive legislations like the Armed Forces Special Powers Act, which has created a lot of problem, a lot of ill treatment, and a lot of uh, extra constitutional debt to the innocent people of the northeastern region, and especially with the recent massacre in in the December 2021 at Uting, in which 14 innocent people <coughs> lost their lives, and the armed forces. The people in the armed forces who perpetrated this massacre are still roaming free because of the protection of this armed forces special force act. So we demand that this draconian law should be repealed by the government of India. We also oppose and demand for the repeal of the Citizenship Amendment Act of 2019. Even though exemptions were made in some states of the northeastern region, like the ILP areas, and the six city areas in which this act will not be applicable. But the NESO, still, we feel that this act is detrimental to the interests of the indigenous peoples of the Northeast. And as such, we demand to repeal this act, the CEA 2019. Also include and introduce, more importantly, job-oriented courses, the introduction of vocational institutes, and also the curriculum should include the traditional values like culture, history, geography of the indigenous peoples of the northeastern region. And we demand that the state and the central government <coughs> set up more professional and technical institutes in all the states of the northeastern region. Another important uh, resolution is on employment 
and economic development of the Northeast. The NESO strongly urged the government of India to make the Northeast a special employment zone, to set up regional, regional placement or employment exchange in the Northeast with its network <coughs> covering the whole of the Northeastern region. The recruitment of local youth in central government establishment be reviewed and in that they should give a hard, some percent employment in whichever state such an established central establishment is set up, not only in the grade B and grade 4, but also maximum absor absorption in the grade 1 and grade 2 of the post. And the Northeast, the government of India should treat Northeast as a special economic zone. And very important uh, resolution is with regard to the state of Tripura, in which the House also unanimously adopted a resolution to demand for a special constitutional safeguard for the Tripura with vast federal authority and also the Northeast Students Organization and the people of Northeast will always stand together shoulder to shoulder with the indigenous peoples of Tripura to protect and uplift their identity, culture with rights over land and natural resources. So these are the resolutions that we have adopted in this sixth general conference. And apart from these uh, uh, resolutions that we have adopted, the NESO has again reiterated its stand on many important issues in which we have raised to the central government and also the state government from time to time. And these issues are the demand for the implementation of the inline permit in all the states of the northeastern region to conduct the national register of citizens in all other remaining states of North, states of the northeast with a specific cut of year or a base year <coughs> according to the unique situation of the particular state. As the published updated NRC for the national register of citizens in Assam is not fully correct for the Khasi and the Garo language in the ancient year of the constitution in which the government of India through the Home Ministry till today has not given its due recognition or due inclusion of this very important language in the age schedule of the constitution. So these are some of the points that uh, we have deliberated and we have taken a decision to pursue with the respective state governments and also with the central government of India. Thank you. We create the demand for a con special constitutional status with rights over land and natural resources in all the northeastern states, and also we should have a separate time zone for the northeast. We demand the center to declare the flood and erosion in the northeast as a national problem. We have seen the conflict the, that has been happening from time to time in the border areas of the different states of the northeastern region, and NESU has been demanding for setting up of the Inter-State Boundary Commission and the state governments and also the central government should be involved in the setting, settling of the inter-state border issue. Peoples, among us, the tallest advisor of the Northeastern Students Organization, Dr. Samujal, who is with us, he will brief in all the important issues since he had been working with the NESO for many years, with the guidance, with the advice of Dr. Samujal, NESO is moving ahead. I, as a newly elected <coughs> Secretary General, with the support and the advice of all the seniors and the constituent units of NESO, we will give our best service to pursue the issues and also to protect the rights of the Northeastern people. Thank you. Thank you. <coughs> so to the sixth uh, annual, uh, sixth general conference of uh, NESO was held at uh, Tripura, Agartala Kumlai, Kumlai, Kumlum. So uh, we had adopted some resolutions. First, as a student organization, uh, we have seen uh, there is a need to establish more technical, non-technical professional institute 
in all North East states. We have seen that thousands of students are going out for higher studies in different parts of the country. It's good that our North East students are going out for higher studies. For, for what they are going? The new new courses <coughs> for which they are going out, this subject should be, should be introduced in all universities, in all colleges of the North East countries. Because unofficially we have seen that more than 300 crores are going out because our students are going out for higher studies. So these new new courses to their service introduced in all the colleges and universities of North East region. Because those students who are capable, they are going out. But those students who are meritorious, they cannot afford to go out. Where they will study? They will study, they will have to study in Tripura, they will study in the North East. So new new courses should be introduced in all colleges, in all universities of the North East region. On the other hand, new new institutes, technical and non-technical institutes should be set up in all North Eastern states. For example, the Naga Student Federation is, uh, they are celebrating 75 years of their journey. But in Nagaland, we don't have a single medical college. It's only an instance. So in all these North East states, we need more, more technical, more non-technical uh, institutes, vocational institutes in all these uh, seven states, including the skill development in universities and skill development institute. So next we will continue to work on the uh, on the area of education so that our students can uh, protect their academic future uh, in, in, in their own motherland. <coughs> Second, the influx of foreigners. The influx of foreigners from Bangladesh is a threat to the identity of the indigenous people of North Eastern region. Somebody is asking, so what threat? What is the number? But I would like to say that the Supreme Court of India, when they have uh, passed an order to rebuild the IMDT Act, the Supreme Court of India has said, quote, due to large-scale influx of <coughs> illegal foreigners from Bangladesh, there is external aggression <coughs> and internal disturbance in the state of Assam only. It is only for Assam. So for whole of North East, this, there is external aggression and internal disturbance in the state, in, in our North East, due to large-scale influx of illegal foreigners from Bangladesh. It's not our opinion. opinion. It's the opinion. Due to large-scale influx of illegal foreigners, there is external aggression and internal disturbance. But the central government and the state government, they are keeping mum why? The international border is porous. In Tripura only, 30 kilometers is still porous. And now the central government and the state government, they are saying that the fundamentalist groups, they are entering into North East. Who has stopped them to stop the fundamentalist group? Nasso is always saying that the international border along the Indi Bangla border should be sealed. Because of the failure of the central government and the state government, through this porous border, the fundamentalist groups they are entering into North East. Now North East is a transit route and transit camp for the fundamentalist groups along with the illegal Bangladeshis. So it's an unexcusable crime on the part of the central government and state government for not sealing the Indo Bangla border. If the central government can seal the Indo Pak border in a war footing, why not in case of Indo Bangla border? It's a threat to the nation. It is not only a threat to the identity of the indigenous people of North East, it's a threat to the nation. And central government and state government, they are compromising with the sovereignty of the country. So, the central government and the state government, they must act effectively to seal these Hindu Bangla borders immediately. And the influx of illegal foreigners, that must be solved. Because it has changed the demography of the North Eastern region. In, a, in Manipur, there is, Manipur Accord, in Assam, there is, Assam, there is Assam Accord. They are not implementing the Assam Accord. And due to non-implementation of these accords, we are facing this problem. On the other hand, in case of Assam, there is a central government have formed a high-level committee headed by a retired judge to give the constitutional safeguard for the indigenous people of Assam. This the committee, it was formed by the government of India. The committee has submitted this report on time, and during that time, Prime Minister and Home Minister they have said they will implement it. Now they are keeping mum. So it should be implemented within a specific time frame so the so that the constitutional safeguard can be guaranteed as part of the commitment of the Assam Accord and as part of the commitment of the government of India. Regarding the, the, in, the, in, the case of, uh, uh, in the case of fundamentalist groups in Bangladesh, we like to demand that central government and state government should adopt all effective measures to evict all illegal Bangladeshis and fundamentalist groups from the soil of North Eastern region. On the other hand, regarding Tipura, we have adopted a specific special resolution and we have seen that the, the indigenous people of Tripura <coughs> is facing threat. It's a threat to the identity of the indigenous people of Tripura in Tripura. So what to do? The, the only way to protect the culture, identity of the indigenous people of Tripura is to give special constitutional safeguard for the must. 
So NATO is strongly demanded there should be a special constitutional safeguard for the indigenous people of Tripura. At the same time, we would like to reiterate the whole, the whole of North East, the North East student organization will extend our full support to the indigenous people of Tripura to get the special constitutional safeguard. On the other hand, we have we have an issue of employment. We have an issue of employment. The, the, the unemployed capable youths, they are not getting jobs in the third and three, category three and four in our North East region. Why? Our, our capable educated youths are there, but they are not getting jobs. Why? So for them, in third, category C and D, all posts should be reserved for the capable unemployed youths of the North East region. And there should be a separate employment zone for North East. And the North East should be treated as a special economic zone. The government of India is saying, look, it's now said that act is. What is act is? Whether it, is, it will be a corridor for exploitation? So, North East should be the economic hub for the country. So, we, we are demanding that there should be a separate employment zone and separate uh, economic zone for, for, whole, uh, for, 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 for North Eastern region. And we are reiterating our, our stand. And that stand, the ASPA must go. During last voting incident, we have seen what had happened, and we are always demanding that ASPA should, re, should be repealed. Now the central government, due to our movement, due to the movement in Nagaland and other whole northeast, they have relaxed some areas. We said no, no, no point of any relaxation. It should be repealed totally. ASPA must go. On the other hand, regarding NRC, so we are demanding that uh, there should be NRC for whole of northeast. The modality of may, may be different from state to state. On the other hand, we need a Bangladesh illegal Bangladesh name free correct energy. And on the other hand, the process was uh, taken at the, the, by the uh, at the initiative of the uh, and which was monitored by the uh, Supreme Court of India in Assam. The updating of NRC was taken in Assam, which was monitored by the Supreme Court of India. But the result is not acceptable. The process was uh, not acceptable. So. Uh, through a process it was adopted but the, the result is not acceptable so due to non-implementation of the Supreme Court guideline uh, we are not getting the result. So we are demanding there, there should be a re-examination of the whole process of the, uh, of the process of uh, NRC in the state of Assam. On the other hand, uh, we are demanding that the uh, implementation of the all clauses of the Assam Accord and regarding the CAR, the CAA it must be rebuilt. The central, we, we had uh, continuously uh, continuing, uh, we are continuing our movement against the rebuilding, uh, against CAR. There was CAP. During that time, we had uh, we had lobbied and we had approached all political parties. During that time, the central government could not pass it in Rajya Sabha. In, in, but the next time, they have passed it. It's anti indigenous It is anti northeast CAR is anti indigenous CAR is anti northeast it's a communal, it's unconstitutional, and so it should be repealed. Ka is a protector of the illegal Bangladeshis. Now, in the, when they, they have passed the Ka in the parliament, they have said that inner line covered area of northeast is exempted. That means Mizoram, Nagaland, Urnasal, and Manipur. Ka is not applicable. They have said the six little areas of northeast is exempted. That is 98 percent of Meghalaya, which is covered by six little area, is exempted. Seven states of North Assam is exempted, and tribal areas of Tripura are exempted. Then where Ka is applicable in North East? Except seven states of Assam, ex uh, seven districts, except seven districts of Assam, and except tribal areas of North Tripura. These are the areas where Ka is applicable. So we have a question. If the Ka is bad for the inner and primary covered area in Northeast, if Ka is bad for the six little covered area in Northeast, how Ka can be good for the other parts of Northeast? It's a basic question. So it's an injustice. So Ka must be repealed. And we'll continue our moment for repealing of Ka. At the same time, we had appealed before the Supreme Court of India on behalf of NESO, ASU. We had submitted our, uh, our application before the Supreme Court of India. And Supreme Court of India had said, Yes, this problem is special. So for that, the, 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 there will be hearing, but there will be separate time for the, in the case of Assam, Tripura and Northeast. So Supreme Court had given the status and recognized 
that this, the problem is different than the other parts of the country. So the car must go and till car is built, we'll continue our democratic movement and legal fight. Till car, uh, we are demanding that there should be a special constitutional status for whole of North with the right of land and national resources. And we need a separate time zone because we are one hour ahead of the mainland of India. So there should be a separate time zone. On the other hand, there should be a separate, uh, there should be a uh, boundary co commission to settle these uh, in interstate border disputes. We need a permanent solution of this interstate border problem and inclusion of Kok Boro, Khasi, and Garu language in the eight single area. These, these issues were discussed in our conference, and NASU is determined to continue our struggle to protect the interests of the indigenous people of the artisan region. In West Jan Hills and also bordering on West Tamil district of Assam, it's not a one time incident. The incident of border conflict has been happening from time to time in different states of the northeastern region, either in Nagaland, Mizoram, and also in Alia. So, NESO has been demanding for settling of this border issue. And the successive state governments have failed in their duty to solve this problem. And on its part, NESO has been continuing its process to have people's to people's relationship, people's to people's dialogue. And here also, we've been demanding, we have given a statement, we've been demanding that the state government should engage, should seriously engage, and also the central government should also enter into the settling of the border issue so that the, these inter-boundary or interstate boundary can be settled once and for all so that the people living in the border areas will have a sense of security. Because now the people living in border areas, they do not have any sense of security. So to alleviate uh, their livelihood, the state governments and also the central government should seriously uh, delve into this issue and solve this issue once and for all.